So Emma bought three watermelons and three papayas for $54. The cost of a papaya is half the cost of a watermelon. How much did Emma pay for all the watermelons? Okay, so looking at this question, important information here is that we know the cost of one papaya versus the cost of one watermelon. Okay, the question says half. So whenever you see the word half, think of units. All right, so of course, if you want to relate back to um, the idea of fractions, half means one over two. All right, so I hope you can see that one unit belongs to one papaya. Two units belongs to the watermelon. Okay, so think of the idea of units. Now, since I have the idea of units here, one unit versus two unit for the cost of each item, I can go on to draw a model out. Okay, now, but before I draw a model, notice that she bought a lot more watermelons and a lot more papayas. So it's not simply just one papaya, one watermelon anymore. Okay, so we're going to apply this concept called stacking model. So you'll see why is it called stacking. So three watermelons and three papayas, I will just lay out in this manner. Watermelon, watermelon, watermelon. If you find it too difficult to, or too, you know, too long to spell it out, just put W, W, W. Okay, just... The first alphabet will do. And three papaya, so P, P, P. All right. So I'm going to draw a stacking model, which will look like Lego blocks stacking one on top of another. So I shall start off with papaya first. This is the comparison that we have currently. Papaya, I know the cost is one unit. Okay. So you have to draw one unit for papaya, whereas the watermelon will be two units worth. So papaya, I draw one unit. A watermelon, I draw two units. So notice that I will start off here first. You can start off here first also can, no issues. If you draw two units here first, then papaya, one unit here is okay as well. Okay, that's fine. Because ultimately later you need to duplicate the same for the rest as well. Okay, so this is what I have. One W, one P. So every watermelon above, I have to draw the same thing. Every watermelon costs two units. And every papaya costs one unit. So this is what a stacking model looks like. Okay, it really looks like you're stacking um, blocks one on top of another. Now, and what I know so far is that these three watermelons, three papayas, total cost is $54. So we can indicate that on the model. Now, you notice that the moment you draw your stacking model out, it's very, very straightforward. You just need to work with the idea of your units. How many units is represented by your $54? Okay, so you just need to count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So there are 9 units in total. Okay, so... All right, so you can write this out. 3 watermelons, of course, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 units. 3 papayas will be 3 units. This is optional. Okay, I personally, I don't think this is needed. So long as you can count right away from the model. Okay, so there are a total of nine units. All right, so nine units will be $54. So this is fine. If you straight away use this as your first step, it's okay because you can simply come from the model, like I said. Of course, always work out the value of one unit. Just do the division, 54 divided by nine, that would be $6 per unit. Every time you found the value of one unit already, read back the question again. Okay, how much did she pay for all the watermelons? So when we say all the watermelons means everything here, the three watermelons, not the papayas. So that means this part, okay, the one that I highlighted here. Oops, okay, my bad. I just crossed that out accidentally. So here, okay, these are your watermelons. So just need to count how many units watermelons all that she paid for is one, two, three, four, five, six. She paid a total of six units for the watermelon. Okay, so we're going to work out six units. And of course, yeah, your one unit is your papaya. Okay, they've already highlighted here. So six units will be six dollars times your six. And that will give us a cost of $36. Okay, so do remember to always read back carefully to see what is the what does the question require. All right, do not make assumptions. Okay, every time you find one, you need to read back the question. 